This is a 114 millimeter National Geographic Newtonian reflector. It has a 400 millimeter focal length, a focal ratio of 4.4, comes with a spherical mirror, and it's uh, about the same price uh, as the 70 millimeter refractor that National Geographic sells. Comes with the same mount, the same rickety tripod. However, I find the optics much better on this one. And at 114 millimeter instead of 70, uh, you get, uh, it gathers a lot more light. Being a Newtonian, it has the issue, the same problem that Newtonians have. You have to collimate it. There are collimation knobs on the back. And uh, you have to, they adjust the primary mirror. You also have to adjust the secondary mirror, because in Newtonians, the mirrors aren't automatically lined up. You have to line them up. If you uh, invest 25 bucks with a laser collimator, rel this is relatively easy to collimate. That's what I use. And um, it, it also, you, since there's an open face in the front, uh, dust, pollen, mosquitoes, uh, pigeons, aardvarks, all kinds of things end up going down the tube and getting on the mirror in the back. So you have to take the back of the telescope off and watch a couple of videos on how to clean a mirror and clean it. Uh, once a week, once a month, depends on how dusty it is where you live. I think this, I, I, this is a much better buy than the 70 millimeter refractor they make. However, as a Newtonian, it requires a lot more maintenance, the collimation and the cleaning. And I would recommend this for some, for a child or even an adult who doesn't have a whole lot of money. I don't. I bought it. Uh, thumbs up.